Hey, I'm Harry and in this video we're going to explore the nine reasons you should start a YouTube channel. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Harry James Coburn. I'm a startup consultant, adventurer and part-time British soldier. On this channel, we help people take the leap in their life through sharing tools and strategies on startups, adventures and personal growth. Let's crack on. The world is changing quickly and COVID has only accelerated things. New rules are in play. It's time to adapt. We've been unshackled from the office. Work beyond borders is now more possible than ever. We are no longer limited to our immediate surroundings and the whole world is accessible from our pocket. We can engage with anyone from Bangalore to Nairobi within an instant. The second most visited website in the world after Google, YouTube offers us a way to share, contribute and engage with the world. We can now connect with an audience globally and it's more important than ever to do so. Why? Here are my nine reasons why I started the YouTube channel and why you should too. Number one, to contribute. I love this idea of live to give. Larry Winglet said, find your uniqueness and exploit it in the service of others. I'm a firm believer that our role on this planet is to contribute. To find our special source, the one thing that gets the very best of us and to share it with the world. To share our ideas, to get involved and to help others on their journey. This gives us purpose, fulfillment and makes the world a better place. One of the best ways to contribute these days is by sharing your work online. In the amazing book, Show Your Work, Austin Kleon paints the argument for why we should every day share our process of work with the world. You don't know how great your work is and how many people it will help until you share it. It's your responsibility and great things happen as a result. The impulse to keep to yourself what you have learned is not only shameful, it is destructive. Anything you do not give freely and abundantly becomes lost to you. You open your safe and you find ashes. This quote really spoke to me because there's so much work that I've done in the past, which I've developed, created, saved, and I just haven't shared with anyone. And if you do that, it's just not creating the value. It's not contributing to the world. I really think it's so important that anything we do, we just share. We share, we share, we share, and it will all come back around and we help everybody on their journey. Number two. Build a personal brand. Do not underestimate the power of personal brand. I think it's more important than ever that we start developing our own brand, what we stand for, what we're about, and what our special source is. YouTube really helps us build that personal brand as we share our value with the world. And to understand how important personal brand is, just think about the likes of Sir Richard Branson or Elon Musk. Their brands are arguably more powerful than the companies that they own and manage. Think about the power Elon Musk wields over the cryptocurrency market just by a tweet. He can send markets going up or down. That's the power of his personal brand. That's nothing to do with Tesla. Interestingly, 77% of consumers are more likely to buy from a company if their CEO uses social media. Personal brand brings me on to my third point, future-proofing yourself. Job security is a myth. I love Jay Samet's thoughts on job security. He says, the illusion of security robs us of ambition. Companies are not loyal these days. They can't afford to be. They have to adapt or die. Just think about what happened over the pandemic. As soon as sales dropped, even long-time workers lost their jobs. That's just the reality of the situation. That's why it's so important to future-proof yourself. Create a skill set and make sure people know about it. Online platforms allow you to spread your risk, to gain an audience globally, and to build your own reputation. So whatever happens, you will have the options and an audience to engage with. Create a skill set and tell people about it. Use the online platforms such as YouTube to share that with the world. 
That way, you can build a global audience and have control over your future of your work. Number four, leverage. Now, I love leverage, it's so important. If you find you're working too hard and not getting enough results, you're probably not leveraging enough. Leveraging allows you to put in a certain amount of effort and to get much more out the other end. I recommend reading Rob Moore's Life Leverage. This will change the way you approach things and can radically change your life. Online platforms such as YouTube allow you to build an audience. Once you have that audience, you can leverage that audience to give you access to the inaccessible, to meet your heroes, to have introductions, to live the life you want to live. Number five, develop essential skill sets. Putting out content forces you to learn amazing skills. It's also a brilliant feedback tool. When you put content out, there's no hiding. People will comment, they'll like, they won't like, they'll let you know. Very quickly, you can see what resonates and what doesn't. When you produce content, you have to research, you have to script, you have to film, you have to do audio, you have to do this branding, there's finding your voice, there's building a website, there's sales, there's marketing, there's creating content, there's researching content. Um, yeah, the list, the list goes on. <laughs> yeah. So new skills, which is so useful for all walks of life. Six, be creative. Let's face it, it's difficult to be creative these days. If your job doesn't have a obvious creative element, then finding the time to be creative or to find that creative outlook isn't always possible. When you create content, it forces you to use your creative mind, to do research, to develop skills which are going to make you be creative. Creating content is being creative. So just by the act of creating content, it forces you to practice that creative muscle. You start becoming creative and everything around you you start engaging with. Number seven, make money. Let's not beat around the bush. Money is super, super important. It allows us to live the life we want and to live freely. I'm a strong advocate for financial freedom and believe we should all live a life free of financial worry. It's something we should all strive for and YouTube makes that possible. I was inspired by Ali Abdel's journey to 2 million subscribers on YouTube. He did that in just under four years and at the time of writing, he's 27 and is a millionaire. He makes 240,000 pounds a month and does his seven hours of filming a week and the rest of the time he spends improving himself and building his business. On his course, the part-time YouTube Academy, which I can't recommend enough, he's an open book and he shares the how he's grown his business from zero to two million subscribers and made a lot of money in the process. There are many ways to monetize on YouTube, from sponsorship, adverts, affiliate links, selling your own products and services, and even courses. Number eight, find and connect with your people. It's so important to find our people, to connect, to find fulfillment, and to have shared experiences. Now, that doesn't have to be limited to your location. One of the great things about social media is the ability to connect with anyone in the world. And what better way to do that than share the ideas and thoughts that you care about. I love the quote from Benny Brown, in order for connection to happen, we have to allow ourselves to be seen, really seen. Number nine, reach a worldwide audience. YouTube has ranked 2 billion visitors each month from all over the world. That's like India, China, Japan, America, everywhere. Its reach is truly global. It's also in 80 different languages. If you're selling services or products on YouTube, there's a high likelihood that you're gonna start engaging with people you would never have engaged with otherwise. Constantly producing good content will lead to new opportunities far beyond your local country. On average, two thirds of a channel's views come from outside the local country. So maybe it's time you started a YouTube channel. Of course, being a success on YouTube is not easy. And the expectation is it takes about one to two videos a week for two years before you become a success. That's a serious commitment. Equally, it's becoming more and more important for you to find a voice in this world. And the number one way to get reach 
is by producing content. What better time to start than now? It gets easier over time, and the sooner you start, the sooner you'll get there. Inevitably, I believe content and sharing your work to be super important for the future of work. We're seeing the rise of freelancing, contracting, and portfolio careers. Producing content is your new CV. You'll only thank yourself later for getting started now. If you're interested in this journey, feel free to get in touch. I'm happy to share my learnings with you. Comment below, message me, or visit my website for more information. Subscribe to my YouTube channel or newsletter for actionable advice and tips on startups, adventures, growth, and lifestyle.